What's up guys? So on today's episode, we're going to take a look at a anime classic from the mid-90s. I'm talking, of course, about the Slayers. We're monsters rampage. I'm there to take them down. We're treasure glitters. I'm there to claim it. So I'm going to start this video off with the unboxing, as usual, and then after that I'm going to go into about maybe a three minute, more of a rant than a review, as usual, because none of my stuff is scripted. Uh, of the series. Uh, so far I have only watched the first, or the original series. I just started uh, Slayer's Next last night, so I won't be able to give uh, a full review on the entire series, but I can talk about the first season. So let's start off with the unboxing. Alright, so let's take a look at this box set. So, it is fairly large actually. As you can see, first three seasons of Slayer's. It sort of looks like a, um, a menu that you'd get at a restaurant. I think that they stylized it like that on purpose. So let's see on the back we got here. It's like a wanted poster for the main cast of Zell Goddess, Gallery, Amelia, and Lena. In a time of fantasy and magic, a band of misfits stumbles from adventure to adventure and occasionally saves the world. So this is released by Funimation. It is Region 1 with 1,725 minutes. It is 4 by 3 English and Japanese languages, and English subtitles. So let's take a look inside. So, like I said, the menu theme. And you open it up, and on the inside you have the episode listing. First seasons for discs in the second season. And the discs are pretty plain, just have a few pictures on them. Uh, the box set itself, the discs are attached at the base and on the side, but the side is pretty much by a thin piece of plastic tape. So you do have to be careful with this, you don't want it to fall apart. Uh, so there's the first season, and here it is the second season. and the final season. And of course the back piece is not removable from the back plate and in order to see the episode listings you have to remove the discs. Nope, got a loose disc. Okay, so let's dive into it. All right, so uh, just a very, very brief description of the show for any of you who have never seen it before or uh, were like myself and just didn't think it was going to be something interesting. Uh, for the longest time, I, uh, for whatever reason, I just, I thought it was a stupid show. I mean, it looked like something that I would not be interested in. Um, but then uh, I saw the box set on Amazon for $35 or however much it was for the entire first three seasons. And uh, why not, right? Let's take a chance. Uh, as you know, I like to buy a lot of my stuff. Well, anyway, uh, so after the first couple episodes, uh, it's actually pretty interesting. Um, it's a uh, adventure type anime. Uh, you can compare it to, I, I see very, very big parallels with Dragon Ball Z. Probably because you know it was done around the same time. Uh, there's a lot of the same sound effects even when they launch like uh, you know energy balls and stuff like that. But uh, in the Slayers, it's it's all magic and sorcery and stuff like that. But um, it it sort of has the same feel to it like a Dragon Ball Z type anime, but it's more more story, more uh, like uh, emotional attachment and stuff to the characters, and it's not so um, my power level is over nine thousand. But yeah, so just to give you a basic overview of uh, the first series, uh, it follows the uh, pretty much two to three main characters of Lena Inverse, uh, who is the sorceress, and uh, her partner, is, uh, his name is Gallery, he's a swordsman, and uh, then there is another sorceress, sorcerer slash uh, swordsman named uh, Zelgadis, and he is uh, a chimera who was once a human, who is now part stone, and his pretty much goal so far in the series is to become human again. 
And uh, so the three of them pair up to uh, fight one of the biggest villains in, uh, I guess you could say, the entire universe of the of the show. Uh, his name is Shabernigno, and he's the uh, like Dark Lord, and uh, can control the entire planet and destroy everyone and all that good stuff. Uh, spoiler: uh, He actually gets killed in like halfway through the series, like halfway through the first season, he gets killed. It's kind of odd for a show to take that sort of a turn where all of a sudden you just kill off the main antagonist and where are you going to go from there? I guess uh, a good comparison would be if Goku killed Majin Buu before he fought Frieza, if that makes any sense. I mean, that's how I felt. I'm sure that the show is going to still progress, but it was a little weird. But my overall feel of the show, and if I were to make a recommendation, it would be this. If you like adventure type shows, um, if you liked, I guess a good comparison would be Full Metal Alchemist. If you like Full Metal Alchemist, this is sort of like a, a building block that Full Metal Alchemist may have used to go off of. Because it is that type of show. It has the great adventure, it has the quest to go and do things, it has the magic and the sorcery. And it's, uh, you know, mid-90s art style, which is one of my favorites. Uh, I know that it's a very mixed uh, bag for people who like that type of, of uh, style or not. I'm one of the fans of it. And if you do like that style as well, I would also recommend you picking this up. Uh, I know it is a very big fan favorite. Uh, for some reason, I guess it just wasn't for me until I watched it. So, uh, if you know, if you're new to the series and you are interested in it, take my advice and uh, pick it up. So that was my rant slash review slash I'm never going to script these things until someone gets mad at me uh, of the Slayers. Uh, I'm still working on a top 10 list. Uh, it's hard because I don't know exactly what you guys want to see. I want to put something out that has some quality to it and I don't have time to do that really. And I don't want to rush anything. But uh, please stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to try and put more stuff up. Uh, as somebody mentioned in a previous video, Dragon Ball Z is coming out with another box set. So I'll get that up to you guys as soon as I get it. But uh, thanks for watching, continue to subscribe, continue to comment on my videos, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.